this week's Photoshop design tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create a very simple canvas preset for business cards. So oh, hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at ReetherPro.com, the channel where I teach you everything about Photoshop design in weekly quick tutorials. So in this week's tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a simple business card canvas preset which you can save and right away apply whenever you need to create a business card. You can just say new business card and boop, you can start right away. So yeah, let's get into Photoshop. Okay, so over in Photoshop, right away, we'll go to the top menu bar, we we'll go to File, we'll go to New and select a new Canvas preset here. But we first have to save that preset. So right away, Name, we can rename this to Business okay, and Business Card if you want to. Then Document Type, let's save that to Custom down here. Great. And then Width, we need to add that to 90 millimeters over here, very important. and. 50 millimeters also for the height and width now remember again this is a basic standard system that you can use but you can also use the un system which is again 55 millimeters in width and height 85 millimeters also remember that both of these are excluding your three millimeter bleed that you'll need for printing great then we'll work continue here with uh, resolution 300 also in pixels then cmy color 8-bit background content i'm going to choose white you can also go with transparent advanced we're going to work with a color profile of us web coded swap version 2 and pixel aspect ratio is squared pixel that is all fine now before you hit ok remember to hit save preset first so you actually save this preset so save preset and in here you can either now choose from having these values as your main name or you can write like me business card over here so now you remember this is for the business card now also include all the little saving presets here so the resolution color mode bit depth background and so on select all of them hit ok it will ask you do you want to save this it already exists so i'm going to say cancel actually no actually not i'm going to say ok and do it for you guys and just say maybe two great so hit ok and ok again so now it is actually saved under my presets. So if I go now back to file, new, you'll see here under my document type, it says business card number one, which I've just saved earlier. And now business card number two. So I can actually delete one again, but I'll do that after the tutorial. For now, let's work with this. I'm gonna hit okay. And right away I have the right size so I can work quicker again. Now, one more problem that we have is we do not have those three millimeter bleed. We first have to create that. So go to image canvas size and over here we're going to add the three millimeter bleed again under new size under the width select millimeters first and again we have 90 and 50 but remember you want three millimeter bleed on both sides so left and right top and bottom again for printing services and you'll need that so what you have to do is add six to every value so it's going to be 96 for the top and again for the width and for the height, it's going to be 56. Great. Do not select relative here because it will just go crazy. Again, down here, I've chosen to go with a pink color so I can actually see the bleed. Hit OK and da-da, right away you get to see your pink outlines here, which basically means now is your three millimeter bleed. Now I'm gonna go and select the move tool and I can now move down guidelines. So basically I want to put my guidelines right here to the edge of my three millimeter bleed if you don't have the rulers simply go to view and select rulers over here then this ruler will show up here okay so i'm basically going to go with the move tool onto the ruler and just drag down a guideline and place it right over here i'm also going to press set on the keyboard in order to zoom in a little bit so my guideline snaps right away to this edge again move tool let's select it over here snaps to there let's maybe press z to zoom out and with the spacebar, I'm just moving in my canvas. Again, another guideline, snap over here. Okay, it's not perfectly yet. So again, move tool and just snap it right away. Z to zoom out and zooming in again. Move tool with a V on the keyboard and just move down another guideline. Great. So that has also now not snapped properly. Let's do that again over here. Okay. 
I'm gonna zoom out and now we have our guidelines and this is actually now the three millimeter bleed and we can just work in this. I can also double click on my layer, open it and also create a new layer, maybe with right click, fill this up with color. This you might know about already. I've shown this technique in a lot of tutorials. So again, command D out of the selection and now I have a brand new canvas here, basically a layer with white and I can work in these areas here to understand where the logo goes or whatever you want to put into the business card. But now, if you're lazy like me and you don't want to create this every time when you work in Photoshop, we actually have an action for this. So you can basically go to our website and find a Tronix Design media package, which you can purchase for $5. And that is a monthly package where we add new things every single month. And you can get actions, backgrounds, vectors, a lot of different things that we use here at Tronix. So what I'll do, let me just go a few steps back to new again, is I'm going to show it to my life and just go to action and select here the three millimeter bleed. I'm going to hit play here under actions and right away, boom, I have my three millimeter bleed plus my guidelines and I can continue work and I've saved again a few minutes. Okay, so that is basically it for creating a three millimeter bleed. It is super easy guys, anyone can do it. Also, if you're lazy like me and you want to have that action, remember to have a look down below in the description is a link to our Tronix Design Media Package where you can download the whole action on how to get this quicker. So like me, you can just click a button and right away you have three millimeter bleed and get going. So yeah, if you're like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop, then click on this button right now to subscribe we send out free photoshop tutorials every single week so yeah guys that's it don't forget to hit me up with a like comment let me know what you think about nikki and i'll see you all in the next tutorial see ya you are still here yes i know why because you are interested in some more content then literally click somewhere here on the screen we've added some buttons for you so you can find some more tutorials or again don't forget to hit the card to see the Tronics Design Media Package. Okay.